Hello everybody. Just avant ça, uh, 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 bonjour uh, de les deux amis qui arrivent. Uh, uh, merci beaucoup pour ton visite et grand bisous. Et uh, à prochaine. Alors, so for the rest of you, uh, just wanted to give you an update of the uh, greenhouses at the house. So these tomatoes are doing very, very well. Um, these have all been... Um, uh, I've taken the, 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 the little, what do they call them in English? We call them uh, uh, gourmands. Uh, taken those off, most of them, except that one. Shit. Because I don't want them. And I don't leave any of the junk in the greenhouse either, because I'm really trying, this whole thing is about limiting um, powdery mildew. But underneath, I've got planted uh, in each bag probably a good eight salad. Um... And they've got the, a few herbs there as well. So that, that greenhouse is basically full. Um, and then, so we're having a bit of a sort out in here. Uh, cleaned this area off. The, 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 the tomatoes look a little bit rough. But uh, I have just planted them. And it's currently 42 and a half degrees in here. As you can see, got up to 51 yesterday. So yeah, a bit of a job. Um, again, I've gone through all of these. These are in flower. Um, when it's not um, mental hot, and it's only like 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, I'll uh, tie those in as well. Those are actually uh, cherries. And I may have overdone on the um, uh, British cucumbers there, mark it more, the long ones without the spikes. But uh, I'm kind of sure that we'll lose a couple to slugs or snails. Um, then I've got a couple of courgettes in there. And uh, yeah, I'll probably sow something else on top just to use the space. So I need another couple of bags of compost for here. I mean, they're looking good though. Uh, just to finish off that section. These are the only few that got broke. Because I didn't water enough. And then these salads are... I mean, these are some of the best salads I've got, but I've noticed that when they get... Compost is doing really well. When they get to that sort of size, they'll, they'll tend to just put a, put, a, put a seed head up, or put a flower up. Um, so it's really difficult to know what to do with them. I, I don't get a lot of shade. And then as you can see, all of these uh, seed trays, not a lot of movement. Um... You know, these are the same seedlings that I did in, was it February, March? So now I'm just clearing through all of the pots that didn't make it, which are basically half. Mixing them with a, a, life, a live mix of compost with uh, proper animal junk in it. Um, and some of that fertilizer from Adrian. And I just like to get this table full of stuff doing, you know, working. So I've got this whole table now, you can see that most of those uh, courgettes and everything have gone up to the land and uh, all dead. So I, I suspect I'll be bringing that down, maybe that table, I'm not entirely sure. And we've managed, so there's a few more junk trays around here. And then most of this table has gone in as well, somehow, way, shape or form. Uh, and then we've got these stacks where I'm thinking, well, the ones underneath should be doing okay. Because they're not in full sun. But again, the salads are just, look, these ones were underneath a couple of weeks, a couple of days ago. Now they've just gone meh again. So I'm not really sure what's going on. On the land, I've got a good couple of, good couple of lettuces, I thought. And then they just went straight to seed again. I thought, ah, yeah, cool, self-seeded. I might be able to eat a salad myself, which I did. I cut the head off, but uh, I, I've got to, I'm going to spend a bit of time looking into this UV um, UV issue because I don't think it's temperature. I don't think it's necessarily shade because I'm giving shade. I looked into buying camouflage, um, you know, cami rag to go over to go over everything. I know I'll probably get the police coming in and having a look, but that's okay. I've got nothing to hide. Um, just to give the garden some shade.
but I just, I don't know. I mean, it's this poor old job if you can't, I mean, last year I didn't grow a single courgette because they got eaten. And this year I haven't managed to grow a single lettuce in the course of four months. So obviously I'm, I'm either a terrible gardener, which I just, maybe it's arrogance, but, uh, you know, I've done some amazing things in, in horticulture. I've done some amazing things in horticulture. I've built beautiful gardens and they're all done, you know, I've done all of this since I was very, very young. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to find what it is I'm doing wrong and everyone is doing wrong. It's not just me, what everyone is doing wrong. Because no one's got any salads. I was I saw some old boy taking some salads to market and they look shit. Um, I went to the market the other day, uh, last couple of weekends ago, and they were shit. Um, he was charging two and a half euros for a couple of leaves, man. It was just like, yeah, they're just not growing this year. Uh, strawberries, also, following my uh, previous um, video the other day. Uh, um, don't seem to have any more flowers. Got a few pissy little strawberries coming out. Gary gets for not making any stolons. I just wanted to note, note this, this grass. I'm not sure what it is. It's just the most beautiful thing in that pot. Uh, anyway, so I don't know what to do. I'm going to do a bit of work. Um, I don't think it's... Nitrogen, because I've given plenty of nitrogen. I don't think it's a shit compost, because, I mean, I'm still buying good... The, the compost in itself is good. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, take care.